Oh, for fuck's sake. Are you serious? Okay. What's happening, Ice Cubes? My name is Matty Ice Cube, and welcome back to the Convergence. Now, we are in the Lake of Rot. And this, this entire area has been completely overhauled. And is currently not working for me for some fucking reason. I totally forgot to... Where the hell... Oh, there it is. Okay, now I'm immune to rot, which means I'm gonna be able to make it through this area less painfully. Um, it's still gonna be pain, uh, because... There's a lot of shit in this new area. I've only done this area one other time before, so if I'm a little sloppy coming through it, going through it, I'm saying all the wrong things. My timer is wrong because I've been playing for like 10 minutes. Um, I could have just reset it by closing and reopening OBS, but it doesn't matter. Oh! I forgot you're in here now. This should be easy. Oh yeah, this is gonna be easy. This is my my tried and true build. I don't remember you being in here before. That's why I'm confused. Easy. Light the flame. There's four of these in here. Yeah, he gives you the dragon scale blade still. And the rune. Dragon Kin Devastation. That's a new one. I've never seen that one before. Uh, that's incantations. This is sorceries. Dragon Kin Devastation. Frozen lightning on foes. I've cheated intelligence and arcane like I always do because I'm, I'm not using a scaling weapon with those stats. And it allows me better use of all of my shit. There's a lot of running around in this area because there's four different braziers to light. And I think I remember where all of them are. I have not, like I said, I've only done this area one other time before. So I'm, I'm hoping it'll go well. Probably not though. I should probably equip these because there's gonna be some ranged enemies that are gonna cause me some grief. Like you! Ah, oh, I almost made you go off the edge. Is there even anything over here? I don't think so. Ow. Bye! You're very dead. Is he dead? Did he die? I would have thought he would die. Okay, there's another one that's gonna cause me problems over this way, and I have to go this way. There you are. That's not right. You're too far away. I probably should have Dream Cloak on, because it's the only other damage negation thing that I have on me. Yeah, you can't rot me, so it doesn't matter. I could be doing way more damage, but I don't really care. Now, 
I do have to go that way, but I would like to get rid of those archers. Oh, I hit you. Can I... Any second now. Okay. That should kill you. And it should give me an opportunity to regen all of my FP so I can go kill the other one, too. You're too far away for this one. Okay, you're gonna see me. Hey, bud. Maybe you're not too far away for the lightning one. But you're not gonna get hit enough for me to kill you because I have to sit here and wait for three seconds for my FP to come back so I can do this. And now you should die. Oh, that's a clean rot knight. I forgot about you. So there's all of these things here too. You're done. And it raises these platforms. Boom. So now I can walk across these areas, which is a really cool way to do that. Oh, please tell me you're going to die. I don't. I really don't want to have to deal with you. There we go. Okay. Only 1,800? I mean, I'm not worried about getting any more levels. I'm already... I'm pretty maxed out at this point. What level am I? 168? Yeah, I'm pretty much in my end game setup at this point. I'm almost done. Actually, I just need to go to Ferrum, Ferrum Azula, and that's it. I mean, I, I'm doing this completionist style as well. I don't know why I've been doing all of my playthroughs completionist style. It's made all of them much longer. Thank you for the extra room. There's, yeah, there you are. I, I thought I remembered there being another one. That didn't do anything. Can I? What the fuck? I will tank a few hits just to fucking kill you. Because I'm not going to be over there for a while. Okay. That should get you off my ass for a little bit. Oh, my dream cloak fell off. Okay. I forgot I had to re-refresh that. Would like to be able to see, please. Boom. Look at that. It's just cool level design. Like, this is what I thought they were gonna do with some of the level design in the regular Lake of Rot. Like, I thought they were gonna do some shit like this. I mean, there's also items over here that I don't think I need, but I'm gonna grab them anyway. Who knows? You never know when you need something. I mean, there's also a bunch of items I'm ignoring down there. The Lake of Rot is huge. I... That's what I get for not paying attention. I almost got stuck. The Lake of Rot is huge, and it's kind of a pain in the ass to get around. But this, this gives much more depth to the area, and I love it. Come here, bitch. Can almost kill you with that. This is number two. I think that's number three over there. But number four is down here. Oh, I got the quit out. Okay. I fucked up. I thought the staircase was there. <laughs> Just goes to show, I'm not paying attention at all. Like, my fucking camera is off. 
wrong with me? Whoa! You respawn? Oh, no, you guys were on the lower areas. Okay. That explains why you're here. I, can't, I, I almost have enough FP to cast all of my spells all at once. I think I'm going to invest just in FP for the rest of my character after I get to 99 fate. Because I'm at 93. Yeah, this is the staircase I thought I was at. Because I also learned something I probably knew a long time ago, and that's your percentage damage pieces stack. Like, they, they also increase your, your damage, even if you have one already. But yeah, number four is over here, and I probably should go get it. A lot of these guys are easy. Like, they're not... They're not terrible, but they're also not great. But everything here is trying to rot you, is basically what's happening. And that's why I have the the horn charm, curative horn charm for rot, because they separated out all of the stuff. I haven't talked about the warding remnants, which are really cool. It separates all of your damage negation stuff, <coughs> and your, <coughs> your immunizing things into a separate uh, cow, into a separate thing. Good thing I'm immune to rot. <laughs> uh, that would have made this painful. I probably could have gone and done that one first, actually. I probably should have. I'm already over here, so it's too late. I would love to be able to see. Because all they do is literally, they're literally only there to spew rot. So, they're not fun. Uh. Nut. He was splooging at me. Yeah, this is number four. This is my number three. I don't know why I went this way. There was no reason for me to go this way first. Uh, you'll see why in a minute, because the si there's another side of grace over here. And I needed to, to go light that one that's over here. That's up there. And I don't think I can get up there from this side. I don't think. I think I can't. I don't know. I, I don't know this area very well. There might be a staircase over there, but I have no fucking clue. The side of grace is over there. But I need to go back over here. Oh yeah, there's a thing over here. I think it's it just has a somber stone. Can you not lock on? I didn't want to lock on. I think you have a somber stone. So, yeah, I think I have to go all the way back around. Free rune arc, though. I probably should have grabbed the Sight of Grace. Nut. 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 Alright. 
I'm gonna have to wade through a lot of this shit just to get back. Like, I'm back over to where I was. Like, if I had... That's, that's good, that's good knowledge for next time. Yeah, you don't like to run after me, so I'm not gonna bother with you. But I'm on my way over to the next area, it's fine. I should have gone this way first. I even, I think I, did I, I think I said it, too, that it would probably be better to go get the, to get this next one first, rather than to go get the last one. Because at least I could have gone down that way and then grabbed the Sight of Grace. Oh yeah, you're still not dead. Stop! Jesus. Just in case. You never know. They might try and fuck with me. Yeah, he's still dying over there. Oh, yeah, that's right. I have to go that way to go up. Oh. I'm dumb. Guys, I... I I'm stupid. <laughs> now he's dead. Okay, cool. They don't give a lot of runes. You'd think they'd be they'd be giving you way more than that. I forgot that the staircase was over here. If I knew that, I wouldn't have even bothered going up there. Also, they have the I I haven't said it yet. I haven't talked about it yet. The new icons for your buffs. Like, it, it shows you the new icons for the new buffs, rather than showing old icons, which is fun. I like that. Oh, yeah, I forgot you were here. Thank you. Yep, and there's the last brazier. I'm going to go this way. Boing. There's also a, a new seed location. And this is where the, the rotten duelist is now. Why the duelist is next to a... Why the... Yeah, that doesn't affect me. Oh, that affects me. Ow! I have never seen that grab before. Cloister has opened. Which is that way. There's a big gate oh, that's closed. And I just now opened it. Can I make this jump? I think I can. Ooh, Falpy. Thank you. Yeah, I can make the jump and then I can drop here. Boom. And now I may move on me and my immunity to the rotting can move on to the Grand Cloister, which is the the next area. You'll see. It's completely changed. It's completely different. There's the Sight of Grace I was talking about. I ran around this area for a long time <laughs> figuring out how it worked. I have a level, though, and I'm going to use it. But down here, lieth the new boss. There is a brand new boss, a new Remembrance boss, that I must kill. Oh! Those torches are there. Oh, that makes so much more sense now that I'm actually looking at it. Like I said, second time I've ever come through here. Never been through here any other time. I, I ran through here on an already finished character. I won't forget you're here this time. Ow.
get you. And you're gonna sit there and die. Oh god! hit you with that. The way down is still the same. There's a lot of these guys here. Like, there's way too many of them. Way too many of them. I think I'm gonna summon for this area, like, you. I'm not gonna forget about you. Summon. Hello, Tish. Also, they color coded. So they they color coded the spirits. Like I'm using Spirit Link, which is the ancestral one. Um, but there's also the Necromancer one that they've color coded it to, and the new Baldikin's Blessing. Uh, they changed how the Baldikin's Blessing work. It makes you immune to summoning debuffs. Um, and you can craft them. could stop with the nut. Ow. I'm going to reapply this. It's saving my ass down here. Tish, you are being very unhelpful. I don't remember this alcove being here. Oh, there you are. I was about to say, where the fuck did Tish go? Ooh. I don't remember you being there. Got the serpent bone blade going on there. Hood. So that's where you get that set. I don't think I'm gonna summon for the new boss. I, I haven't told you what it is yet. But it's really cool. And I don't think I'm gonna cheese it with my normal cheesing method. But 
yeah, the coffin is no longer here, and this is where this rune is at. I didn't mean to go into item crafting. Pest darts. Yeah, keep fighting. There you go, Teach. I saved your life. Also, uh, they added a transmogrify... They added the transmogrification armor thing mod for Convergence, which is really cool. But they also added a feature to consume all runes in your inventory. 95 faith. Okay. Remnant crafting. I already have all this stuff done. But yeah, you can transmogrify your armor in any way you want. Which is cool. have max flasks just making sure but yeah they added this whole new section i was blown away when i saw this for the first time look at it there it is that's the new boss i did not mean to aggro you right away vessel of rot i think i am going to dot you though Yeah, you've got these Scarlet Rot, uh, things. Oh, God. Yeah, you've just got a huge number of attacks. I have massive health regen, though, so I'm invincible. I'm one-handing. Ow. But this boss is really cool. Like even the even this is is cool. Ow, I tried. Even though it's mostly just got the the demi-human queen moveset, including this. Ow. Spoiler alert, it has a phase two. I haven't drank my physic yet. I should probably do that. God, that's so cool. Woo! And these attacks should look familiar, shouldn't they? Because these are the Demon Prince's moves. You know, one of the best bosses in DS3. Woo! This boss would be much harder if I wasn't cheesing it with the rot immunity. Oh, that tracks way better than I thought it did. Woo! But it's a really cool boss. Scion of the Sealed God. It's such a good boss. Remembrance of the Scion of the Sealed God. And it gives a fuck ton of runes, too. And I'm gonna read the Remembrance. Uh, once Meredith, first of the demi-human queens, became a vessel to the great unseen powers of decay and rebirth. Displaced by the battles of the Shattering, her tribe sought refuge in the caves of central Kaled when the great Aeonian bloom covered the land and rot. Being among the strongest of her people, she survived the cataclysm, only to be plunged into a strange subterranean existence while her memories slowly abandoned. Uh, 
was a cool fight, right? It was a cool boss. I I love that boss. It's it's really good. It's another one of those bosses that they absolutely nail. Um, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't care. There it is. Great Staff of Decay. A large two-pronged branch permeated with rot. Once held in purity by Meredith, first of the demi-human queens, the state of this weapon mirrors her own descent into decay, a moldering ornament of the power to the power of rebirth. Cause a large rotten explosion. Follow up with a heavy staff of attack to perform a lateral sweep that unleashes a stream of blood. Oh, so it's like, um, death's poker. That's cool. So the Godskin Matriarch is essentially Elden, their Elden Ring equivalent of Freed, of Frida, and this is their equivalent of the Demon Prince. So I'm assuming we're gonna have an equivalent of Gale at one point. Probably next, probably in 1.5, but I guarantee 1.5 won't come out until after the DLC <laughs> comes out, because the DLC is coming out in June. I mean, maybe. I don't know. You never know. Mine. Why can't I get this anymore? Oh, that's broken. Oh, I get it. Bleed and Scarlet Rot. So, uh, Reborn did what Convergence did with the... Also, I feel like 25k for this Remembrance, I feel like that's too little. I feel like it, it should be worth as much as at least Moog or Melania's, because they're at least on the, the same scaling. Do I need anything? think so I haven't crafted everything I could have at this point but it, it doesn't matter because I'm almost at the end of this playthrough and I really need to get back to reborn to to cover more of that which I I I, I to to break to, to peel back the curtain a little bit. I ha I just recorded some of that before I started recording this. There is a lot more than just the, the Lake of Rot overhaul. Also, I don't know why my map does this anymore. It's probably something to do with something I did, but it doesn't matter. But they also changed the run-up to Celia Crystal Cave. It <laughs> Which I guess I can show you. They completely overhauled the Celia Crystal Cave. And it leads you straight to a stell. Which I should probably show you that. I actually I actually the run up to the cave is not as cool as the cave itself. The run up to the cave is kind of meh, but they added this teleporter which takes you to the end of the cave. Cool, right? And this is where the boss was. But you come in from that direction, and then you fight the, the falling star beast, and then you go this way. Um, and then after that, you go in there and you unlock the, the little fast travel mechanism that they put in for this huge cave. This cave is huge. They added so much to this cave. I don't know why the stone are here. That's one addition that I'm not... I don't completely understand the synergy there because it's all gravity enemies. But basically, this leads all the way. This is how you get to Estelle now. This is the way to Estelle now. Which I think is dope. Hey, bro. Bye. Whee! There, 
are these like gravity barriers keeping you from moving through some of these areas? Some of these guys can teleport now, which I am not one to get amazed by the mod usage all the time, but I have no idea how they did the gravity teleport mechanic. I would love to ask the mod developers, how the fuck did you do that? It's just one of those moments of, how the fuck did you do that? Ow. And then this is the teleport to Estelle. So you get in and you're, you're there. Like, you're here. Like... It's cool. It's like a physical pathway there. Rather than just going the long way around. I've already killed Estelle. So I just did that to show you. They also changed how... They've also changed Volcano Manor. Where is the closest side of grace manor passage that's the audio path the audience pathway is it right here yes this is This is the uh, area you come in, you fight an NPC, and he's wielding, where the fuck is the weapon? It's a big great axe. Which, yeah, surprise, surprise, they added another axe into the game. The Lodestone of Gelmir. Uh, and this this thing, even with a, a very high-leveled high character, can two-shot you. I don't know why he's scaled so weirdly, but he's scaled very weirdly. So they've changed the path to Rykard. You can no longer teleport to him. You have to take this physical pathway, which you literally jump down into. Boom. And now we're over here, inexplicably. And the, the audience pathway is here. So we're going to go from here all the way to here is what's going to happen. Coming through here, this is really creepy. Like, I was very creeped out. Oh, shit. I almost killed myself. Oh, hey, bro. I didn't expect you to come down here with me. But, yeah, there's a lot of, of jumping down holes. And they changed Rykard's arena a little bit. I'll show you. So it's it's really, really cool to have an actual physical pathway. I forgot you exploded to poison. An actual physical pathway. I don't... Did I go this way? Oh yeah, this just takes you down and they have these new snake mages who use the lava magic and whatnot, the lava sorceries. And then you have this lift. And we're getting closer. I should probably have my uh, stuff on. I can switch back to my damage loadout. Which I go from one ten thirty four to eleven thirty seven, so I get a hundred and three damage, which is another ten percent, which is awesome. And then you jump down this hole. A lot of jumping in holes. Yeah, and there's more snakes. go this way and then this is the audience pathway side of grace so you're here hey bro and then this is where Rykard is 
and then you have to drop down into his arena. So you cannot leave uh, Rikard's arena until after you beat him. So basically, you're stuck in here until you beat him. Which I think was fun. I thought it was fun. Rikard is still the same, like, same boss and whatever. Like, it doesn't matter. Um... They changed up a few things, but they didn't really change up too much. There's new weapons. I think there's three new weapons, like the the rot staff that I just picked up. I believe it's like Death's Poker. If I can find it, where is it? There you are. It's a colossal weapon. Oh, I need both hands for this? Oh, damn. It's oddly fast. Boom. Oh! So you do this, and then the follow-up sprays the rot in front of you. Okay. I get ya. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. That's actually pretty cool. <coughs> nice. Okay. Um, there's some new claws. Yeah, these things. I think they're they're more like the mannequin claws. Is there a follow-up to that? No, it just says strike out. Which is cool. tell they're using an animation model which is why the head is it kind of dislocates the head it's a cool weapon though oh i have the great knife because that's where my uh it's what i have bloodhound step on all right but i believe that is most of what I wanted to show off. Everything else is pretty much the same. I'm almost done with this playthrough. I just have one more cave in Consecrated Snowfield. And then I can go do Fair Missoula and then finish this playthrough. And then install the, the patch that they released. Because this is 1.4.1. Where is it point two? Did I? Which one did they release? One point four point one point one. Anyway. Uh so anyway, yeah, that is all I wanted to show in convergence for now. I have some other things to do, so I will get to that later. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching. As always, I appreciate every single one of you. Click the links in the description below for more videos that I've done, as well as other YouTubers I've worked with. And I will see all of you in the next video. Bye!